guys, how you all doing? Just one bear. Today we're doing a little swamp walk. Got some people from France. We're out here in the Everglades. So we're trekking through here and I want to show you what I have in my Cast King backpack. Stay tuned. You're watching two bears outdoors. here in the Everglades into the swamp walk you can see we are surrounded in cypress trees water is high and this this is the outcome of sawgrass I'm putting my casking backpack to good use and uh, if you don't know about the Everglades and sawgrass it'll cut you really deep <laughs> yes. there you go sawgrass <laughs> that was from sawgrass <laughs> oh, yes. oh, yeah. oh, you're going to the Water level is pretty high, so it's an awesome walk. We've already found a couple of snakes, a bunch of wildlife, orchids. So I'm looking forward to continue on with the trekking and uh, see what else we find. Alright folks, now I'm really enjoying the Cascade Day Tripper Backpack, which is part of the uh, Tackle Bag series. And it's really a, a lightweight but tough material. I mean, it's actually made out of 420 ripstop nylon. It's water repellent. It's got a hydrophobic coating on it, which basically keeps the moisture from coming in and separates it from the PVC lining that it has. All right, guys, let me show you what I have in my backpack. You know, normally it changes all the time. Or packing my bag for a day out on an airboat or swamp buggy, or even when I go gator wrestling. So it changes as it goes, but today we are doing the swamp walk. So scenario like this, I'm gonna show you what's inside the bag. All right, now first things first. It's got a mesh pocket on the side. Of course, you can carry water, whatever you like to bring. It's, but you can actually put two fishing poles side by side, strap them down. But in this scenario, I'm using the inner pocket to be able to secure the knife. Of course, it's strapped down, so it ain't going anywhere. And it's got the, uh, the nice snap, and voila. So this is my knife. So I got that. Now, we have the zippers. Now these zippers are self-healing zippers, okay? Understand that this whole construction between the zippers and the material that's being used, it's uh, designed for saltwater use as well. So this will handle the saltwater environment, okay? Just to let you know. So on this, it's got this little smaller pocket. Uh, normally what I like to keep, trail marker, mouthwash. I like to keep my breath fresh, especially when I'm dealing with the general public, okay? This is a must. Not saying that I have bad breath, but I like to assure that my breath <laughs> smells good. 
especially when I'm talking to people. All right, now you got the bigger pocket. Here, I have my firearm. If you know anything about firearms, this is a Glock 19. Fits perfectly in the bag. It's got this uh, elastic type pouch. Fits nice. You got another area here. You could put more stuff, but that's where I keep my firearm. Now also, you have the main compartment, or what I like to call the main belly. My Nikon, got my raincoat, got a few other stuff in there, spare shirts, a light. And then on the back area, I don't know if you can see, you got a separate compartment. You could put an iPad, you could put just about anything. Normally what I use is just for GoPro accessories, tripod and stuff like that. Fits perfectly in there. They also have places where you could put carabiners. I mean, it's, it's pretty well equipped with just about everything. Uh, it's got these side pockets. I have my keys. These are the new arm sleeves from Cast King, protected from the sun. The other side, now here I have my snacks, beef jerkies, peanuts, protein bar. So, knife. Now the cool thing about this, that this is also a tackle bag. So, if you choose to, it has a compartment that separates the upper part of the bag and also separates the lower part. Of course, you could choose not to use it if you don't want to, depending on what the day brings. It will allow you to store your smaller utility trays um, or the Cast King 3600 tackle trays. They fit perfectly. It fits four of them. But normally, on the bottom piece, I have my phones, I have my wallet, and my first aid kit, along with some bug spray, stuff like that. And again, I bring a little bit of everything, bug spray, water, first aid kit, I'm dealing with the public, and just in case if an emergency does present itself, I'm somewhat well equipped. Again, these straps are very comfortable. I know the back part of the backpack is designed to ventilate. So as you can see, it's got these uh, ventilated ribbed areas. I mean, very profound, uh, very comfortable. I don't know if you could tell, but it's very padded and it's got a nice cut or a channel. So what it does, it allows the airflow to go through. Uh, heat from the body um, is able to expel. So this is why this bag is very comfortable. And uh, you could pack it down or you could pack it light. Doesn't matter what your adventure might bring you, it's gonna do the job. Now folks, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Gus One Bear. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Help a brother out. Watch you two bears outdoors. See y'all later.